What's going on, y'all? Okay, so this video <clears throat> is just going to be a little mixture of a little bit of what it is. And, you know, I had to hit on some topics that were actually popping in the news or whatever. And, um, you know, a little bit of Q&A. So next week, I know I did say I will shout out some stuff. Next week, I want to put all of that in the video and do it for, um, put it out there either Thursday or, mm, my lips look all big and juicy and shit. I don't like that for some reason. Mm. Anyway, like I said, I wanted to put that out there next week and do it like a big, um, you know, shouting out some channels or whatever that, you know, trying to, um, you know, get some exposure to some people who have new channels or, you know, anything that you want to put out there. So I highly suggest you put it down in the comments, you know, and if you have links to your stuff, put the links down there too, if you can, if you follow me on Facebook or, um, Instagram or Twitter or whatever, well, Facebook and Instagram, when I post it next week, um, make sure you put your topics, well, your, your channels and stuff like that, because I've been meaning to get to that and I don't want to miss anybody. That's why I'm not doing it right now. Cause I haven't went through everything, <clears throat> but, um, let's get into this. So <laughs> let me tell y'all about my day. First of all, it was raining like a motherfucker, okay? It was raining, raining, okay? And I was like, oh my God, I hate having to go outside in the rain. I hate having to do anything in the rain, especially when it's like raining so bad that it looked like, you know, it's about to flood or whatever. And that's how it was today. So I had a doctor's appointment. Y'all know that I've been talking about that. I went on ahead to that doctor's appointment, y'all. Ear, nose, and throat doctor, you know, because the little issue that's been going on with my throat and stuff. So, basically, he told me the same damn thing. It was like, bitch, if something was there, you know, you wouldn't be able to talk. You wouldn't be able to do this. You wouldn't be able to do that. And I was like, I know all of that, but look, look down my throat and tell me what the hell is going on. And he looked down my throat and basically said, bitch, it's acid reflux. And I said... So I'm officially diagnosed with that. And I was like, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. But, you know, he stuck that thing down my throat. It wasn't even the scope or whatever. He, you know, if you ever been to the doctor, like the dentist or whatever, that little um, utensil that got the, that look like a mirror or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He stuck one of them things down, like to the end of my, um, you know, back in my mouth or whatever, and he was holding on to my tongue so I couldn't uh, move it and shit, and he was like, just breathe, breathe out your mouth, I said, listen, I'm finna gag, okay, that's why I didn't eat before I came up in there, because I thought they was gonna stick something down there, so, you know, if something happened, I just, and it won't, you know what I'm saying, it just be clear, but he basically was like, it was acid reflux, and I was like, you know, that's what my doctor said, whatever, but, um, I was just making sure and all this stuff, and, <sighs> yeah, I'm so depressed. That wasn't even a half of it. He was like, you know, of course, you know, when you're a bigger person, you have certain things. And it was like, girl, you basically healthy besides the fact that, you know, you was a big bitch. And I was like, yeah, I get it. I get it, you know. And I've been working on that shit, you know. A bitch been losing pounds and stuff. Listen, come to blackout. I'm going to have... I'm going to have some weight loss. Like, y'all just ain't going to be... Y'all going to be like, damn, bitch, okay, I, could, I see you. It ain't going to be so drastic, but you're going to notice it. Because I, I, I actually noticed it. Like, all of my clothes is bigger on me, you know. And I'm wearing stuff that I brought and I couldn't fit or whatever. And, you know, it's just like, okay, girl, you know, you're doing a thing. And I'm liking this and I'm hoping that, you know, I get the motivation to stay on this track because for the simple fact that I've had moments where I would start and get in the groove of, you know, um, the weight loss journey or whatever, and I'd be losing weight, losing some pounds and all this stuff, bitch, getting all geek like, yes, bitch, I'm doing it. And then all of a sudden, something happened. One happened, um, I got sick. I got really, really sick, okay? That took me out. Then I started back up, okay? And then all of a sudden, I got into a car accident, fucked up one of my knees. That took me out. Then all of a sudden, I got into another car accident. Fucked up the other knee. That took me out. And then, on top of that, last year... <gasps> OMG. <laughs> exactly. A year ago, I fucked my... Uh, I, I fractured my uh, right uh, tibia. Bitch, ain't that some shit? Oof. 
full circle for that ass and the shit still kind of hurt. But, you know, I've been doing it and I'm just like, you know, changing my eating patterns. That He was like, girl, I've been drinking green tea, you know, green tea healthy for you and all that stuff and give you a little boost so you won't have to drink caffeine and stuff like that. Girl, he told me you can't drink no tea. I was like, what? I just drank a cup of tea before I came here. I can't drink no tea. Mmm, I was just mad. He was like, no coffee. I was like, girl, I don't give a fuck about no coffee. I don't do coffee, no way. Then he said, no pizza. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Now, you know, when you be, um, you change up your eating pattern and all that stuff, and you trying to, you know, eat right or whatever, you do have your moments like your little cheat days or whatever. You don't overindulge. You probably get a little piece of this and a piece of that, and that'd be fine. Okay, quench that little appetite. Quench that little quavering. Quavering, uh, uh, um, you know, whatever. And that's what I thought. But I haven't, and I knew in the back of my mind because I was reading up on stuff. That's what it was saying. But, you know, to hear the doctor say that. And y'all know, just about everybody loves pizza. And they was like, he just basically said nothing but red sauce. Mind you, yesterday I had a vegan lasagna. <laughs> Vegetarian lasagna last night. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so basically... I can't eat nothing with tomatoes in it, nothing like that. And I was just like, oh, shit. I'm being cut out fried food. So, you know, child, I'm going to do it, though. You know, I know they make sauceless pizza or a different base for the pizzas and all that. It ain't really, you know, it just, to hear it, it just threw me off for a second. But, you know, it's for the better good. Bitch, you got to you gotta get right. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get right, okay? It is what it is. But, okay, that's, that's basically you know, how my morning went, all right, so, <clears throat> there y'all go, now, I didn't get some pills for it and all that shit, so, hey, it is what it is, but, um, and it's a whole bunch of y'all, I ain't know half y'all motherfuckers got acid reflux too, y'all was giving me suggestions and everything, and let me tell you something, most of y'all who gave me some suggestions and stuff to use and all that stuff, it was working. It was working. I felt the difference, you know. So, a shout out to y'all. Y'all some sick motherfuckers just like me. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Let's get into these little entertainment news right quick. Steve Harvey and the Miss Universe um, controversy. Okay, that shit came on this past Sunday. I didn't look at it. I want, Girl, I was looking at Real Housewives of um, Atlanta and all my other shit. I don't, I'm not into that, so it is what it is. Um, and the only reason why it got brought to my attention is because I was scrolling on Twitter, and all of a sudden, Kevin from the Scorpion Show tweeted, Oh, shit, Steve, you done fucked up. Y'all turn to um, Miss Universe, uh, turn to Fox, because it's some shit is about to go down. I'm like, what the fuck? And I still didn't even turn. And as soon as he tweeted that, that's when everybody started lighting up Twitter talking about the whole thing about, you know, basically Miss Columbia, she won, Columbia won for Miss Universe last year, okay? They thought she had it this year, actually crowned her, put a sash on and all that stuff. And, you know, it was so fucked up, though, because <laughs> when you look at the full clip, she was like, oh, my God. And they put the crown on, and she was just like, "I was like, girl, and Miss uh Miss Philippines, she's just sitting there like, okay." And then Steve was like, "You know, I apologize." I was like, "Oh shit!" And then he basically just says, "You know, the runner up, the first runner up is Miss Columbia." <laughs> Miss Universe is Miss Philippines, you know, and I was like, ooh, she was steady there looking confused as shit too. She was shot, and you know, it is what it is. And that girl has to take that girl crown off and put it on. You did y'all notice the girl that took the crown off of her had her hand behind Miss Columbia back, rubbing her back like, girl, don't even. I wish you would act the ass right here. Calm down, because I know this shit hurt, but calm down. She was rubbing that back, that small of that back, like, just calm down. And I was like, mm. And I'm glad Miss Columbia didn't act the ass, but, you know, I would have been like, if I was in the Philippines, uh-uh, that shit is tainted. Give me a new crown. Give me a new crown. You know, and if I was Miss Columbia, I would like, no, you put this shit on my head. I'm taking it, okay? I'm taking this shit home with me. First one around my ass. That's what you you thought. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have been. But, you know, they had some class about it. I heard she trying to sue now for psychological trauma and all this shit. Bitch, y'all had a uh, fucking crown last year. Get over it. I mean, and I know it's fucked up or whatever, and it's going to be replayed and replayed, but it was an honest mistake, okay? I seen two different um, cue cards. Somebody tried to put a different cue card up there, but it wasn't the same because, you know, I seen the one that Steve Harvey had in his actual hand, and basically... Why was the print so damn small? Everybody was going in on Steve Harvey, of course. It was laughable, the memes, it was joke. It was a fucked up blunder, okay? But my thing of it is, it was it was all cool and, and fun and games or whatever when, you know, people was making memes about it until, you know, uh, they want to call him porch monkeys and, you know, gorillas and all that stuff and just get racist with it. And I'm just sitting here like, most of you Colombians or whoever the fuck it was that was, you know, going in... You need to go back and look at your um ancestry and your DNA because you got black blood in your ass too. All right. Slaves were in South America too. Okay. Everybody got black blood in them. <laughs> if you care not to believe, you go look that shit up. All right. Go look at the documentary from um PBS. When, um, What is it? It's his name. Henry Louis Gates or whatever. He did a documentary. It's a multi-part documentary about, you know... Blacks in South America, and they did Colombia, they did Brazil, they did um, Portugal, I think, no, that's Spain, but, oh, no, that's Europe, bitch, and they did, like, uh, Peru and a uh, few countries, few big countries down in South America, and they even did Mexico, and they show how there are black Mexicans, there are black Colombians, there are black this and all this stuff, and, and, and the discrimination and stuff like that. And I'm like, the main ones, just because your skin look light, probably, you still probably got that black blood in you too, and you up here talk, talk, talking this man uh, a fucking monkey or whatever, over a damn crown that you ain't finna fucking wear. I mean, okay, you get this, what, what, what does it do for your country? Like, I just don't get it. Is it bringing money to your country? Like... Are you getting something new out of it? I, I don't get it. I mean, it was funny. It was fucked up. And people were going in on Steve because they was like, damn, bitch, you a writer. You can't even read and all this stuff. You know, 919 probably had a ghostwriter. But when I seen that cue card, I was like, why is Miss the winner all the way down here at the bottom and small? And why are they small over here? I'm like, who put this card up like this? Who typed this up like this? And then there was a Snapchat. A Snapchat. That I was um scrolling and YBF right when it happened had posted the Snapchat or whoever Snapchat Snapchat get your words together whoever was back there at the Miss Universe behind the stage and you see Steve going back behind the stage like you know saying that on the teleprompter it said Miss Columbia was the winner and on the card. It said Miss Philippine. So what I'm thinking is basically he looked at the, he read what was on the teleprompter and whoever put that shit on the teleprompter, it's their fault. Okay. He had a 50, 50 chance. The motherfucker probably wasn't even looking at the car and he just saw what was on the teleprompter. And then he looked down and was like, wait a minute, that's not correct. But you know, it is what it is. Um, people was making fun of him, but at this point in time, you know, they asked him and signed some contracts for him to come back and host it again. You know, he ain't finna fall or whatever. It is what it is. It's not even that big of a, a big deal. Okay? Get the fuck over it. <laughs> y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. I ain't blaming him. Um, everybody makes mistakes, okay? How many times have I been out here talking and screwing up my words and stuff like that, getting all caught in mouth trying to talk to y'all and then y'all get presentations. I'm pretty sure y'all done stumbled over some words and shit in front of a crowd or whatever. You know, shit happens. Let it go. Um congratulations to Tiana Taylor and mine. They had their little baby girl like I think last Friday or early Saturday morning in their home in the bathroom. The baby came on out and you know, she had pushed like three good times and the baby came out and just slid on out and um he took what I think he said the headphone cord and tied up the umbilical cord. And I was like, oh, and I seen the little clip of him. You know, they was so happy. I seen the clip. I really don't be checking for Tiana like that. But, you know, ever since she been in her relationship, they just be so, every time, they be booed up. Like, ain't nothing like, you know, 
people showing that they are a man for real, showing that they truly love their woman, okay, and parading her around or whatever. And the same thing for a woman, you know, and they be on that equal playing field, you know. You can tell that he loves her, she loves him, and all that stuff, you know. And when he was talking about the baby and, 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 and he started crying in that little interview, I was like, oh, my God, that what? I was like, listen, listen, I can have a kid, okay, and I deal with him. You know, just for that reason, just to be like, look at my child. <laughs> Ain't he, she cute. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. You know, I can deal with all that. It's when they start talking, like, not talking in a cute way. <laughs> no, when they really start talking with that attitude, you can go to your mom because I ain't got time for it. Because if I deal with you, I'm going to fuck you up. Okay? It was all fun and games when you was a baby. It ain't no more. You know, that's how I be. But, um, anyway, that was cute. So, congratulations to her. Um... Something that was fucked up, Sandra Bland, they decided that basically it's no indictments that's going to go around for the officers um, involved and, you know, her being in a jail and all of a sudden dying. I really, I'm not even going to sit here and be like, that lady didn't kill herself or she was murdered because I don't know. I don't know. All I can adamantly say is that the whole situation is fucked up and fishy. It's not correct, okay? And the fact that it's taking this long to try to get something to happen with it, you know, it's it's just, I don't know. And I can't even get upset, upset because I'm not surprised. I When I heard that they weren't going to indict, you know, I just, I just wasn't surprised. I was not surprised, so I couldn't even allow myself to get that pissed off, like, like, what do we expect? <laughs> Justice, what's that? <laughs> but um, y'all tell me how y'all felt about that. I just really wanted to mention that because it's really it's really sad. And I heard, like, they was going to do a trial, but that was going to be in 2017. So, you know, it's just like you're trying to make us forget about what's really going on. But, no, people are not going to forget that. Um, <laughs> Somebody who wish people would forget about their bullshit is R. Kelly. I think that shit with the Huffington Post... Okay, my quick little, you know, thing on it is this. R. Kelly, you are a seasoned artist, a seasoned musician. You've been in the game for over 20 years or probably 20 years, whatever. You've been in the game for a long time, all right? And my thing of it is, you know what's been on you. You know what's your background, you know your past, and you know in this new day and age that you be trying to keep up with, you know, you try to keep up with the fashion and all that stuff, y'all remember when R. Kelly was out here with them two socks on and that book bag with them like emojis or whatever the fuck all over him, I was like, nigga, if you don't get your old ass out of here and act your age, but here's the thing, you should have been prepared and know to, I'm pretty sure, especially Y'all know the shit that happened with R. Kelly. He did the sex tape. I don't give a fuck when nobody say, oh, it wasn't him. He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't found guilty or whatever. It was him. He did it, you know, and I'm actually cool with the person that was, um, family member, one of the family members of the person that it actually happened to. Yeah. And I'm known, I've known of some people who've had encounters with R. Kelly out here in Chicago, young girls. Okay. It has been known, it is no fucking secret, all right, that he performed young. That's what it is, okay? He's a predator, all right? That's what he is. He's a pedophile. He's a predator. It is what it is, okay? And he just thinks he can get away with it and because he's been getting away with it for the simple fact that he's R. Kelly and he put out these hits or whatever and people still buy his stuff, you know, and it is what it is, but... Am I going to take away what he's done in his life or whatever and accomplish? Hell no. R. Kelly done put out some hits and shit like that. He done wrote some good ass stuff. He done sang some good ass stuff. But at this day and age, you know, even though I, I, I haven't brought an R. Kelly album since. Chocolate Factory, I think. Just something that me just don't want to buy because it's just like. Why? Because they all, and it's not even, in. yeah, it's because of what he done, because I don't support that bullshit, but you have not put out, all the stuff you put out, R. Kelly is the goddamn saying, 
every album, every album is about fucking sex. And the last album was about sex too. It was good. You know, the album was good. It was cute. It was R. Kelly or whatever, but I ain't bad. I listened to it on Apple Music and that was it. You know, just say I listened to it. That's, that's basically all it is. And, you know, <laughs> I don't let shit slide, but... It's not like, and, and if I got some R. Kelly records on my iPod, I ain't finna delete it or whatever in my library or whatever. I'm I'm not finna delete it. That's just like with the shit with Bill Cosby. You know, he did what he did and I believe he did what he did. But is that going to stop me from watching the Cosby show? Hell no, because I love the fucking Cosby show. Fuck. But, um, you know, I won't support anything else. But <laughs> Cosby show, that's, that's boss right there. But, um, you should have been prepared. In this junction, in this fashion, in this day and age about how these people be doing these interviews. Expect the unexpected, okay? And if you don't want to ask questions, don't answer questions. And I get, and I totally understand the reason why he, you know, just got up and left. But, you know, he was talking over her. He was defensive and all that stuff. He took the bait. Yes, they were baiting him. They were baiting him, okay? They side blind, they bl sidetracked his ass and, and, and just came out of nowhere with that. And, you know, people can be like, that's why these uh, artists, you 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 can get them comments or, you know, tell them uh, the interview, what uh to what to ask and what not to ask. That don't mean that they really going to pay attention to what you say, all right? And then this was from people off of Twitter. Come on, R. Kelly, you should have known this. You and your people should have known this because, one, a couple of years ago, when you had your last album come out or whatever, you was on Twitter and you did a Ask R. Kelly hashtag. And every, that whole hashtag was full of nothing but making fun of you about you fucking little, you little girls. That's what it was. You should have been prepared, motherfucker, okay? And R. Kelly mostly got pissed off because, A, he was not there to talk about that. He was there to talk about his um album. And, B... His truth was being thrown into his face, okay? And that's basically what it is, you know? Um, do I feel like both are, both are the, need to take responsibility in this? I understand why he got up. You know, if you feel uncomfortable, cut the interview short and just leave or whatever. But, you know, he was, he was a little bit rude. She was a little bit fucked up, too, because, I mean, you could have picked some other questions to ask. But, hey, It is what it is. <laughs> you know, people be like, I want to come here and I want to just talk about the music. And all you got to do is say no comment or, you know, move on, move on, move on. Or don't say nothing at all. But some people ain't built that way, you know, and that ain't what they was there for. So I get it. I would have rather him walk out on it and not just, you know, truly go in and cuss her the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Like really cuss her the fuck out. But she didn't get two shits no anyway. You know, she didn't care. And I, I, I mean, it was kind of fucked up. It was kind of fucked up, you know. I don't know what to say. I can see her side and I see just them, you know, giving it to him and um, saying what it is. That's basically what I see about it. And, um, you know, I can see why he got frustrated because he wasn't there to talk about that. But you are R. Kelly. This is going to be on you for the rest of your life. No one will forget the fact what's, what went on. It's too much evidence, okay? You know, y'all can deny the shit happened, but we know the truth. You know, people with common sense know the truth. And people who actually know people... Let me tell y'all something. R. Kelly almost was my step-uncle, okay? I'm going to tell you that. He tried to get with my auntie. My married auntie. I was like, wait a minute. She was trying to give that? Auntie, stop playing. Girl, when I found this shit out, I said, don't do that shit. Okay? You know, I had to I had to revert back in my mind because I almost went there. I was like, girl, hmm. If you do that, that means you're going to be paid too. Give me some money. Pay these bills off. You know, these loans and shit. But then I was like, nah, it's R. Kelly. Because, you know, he going to be fucking around. He going to be doing this. I don't want you to put that. No, don't do that. And I'm dead ass serious. Dead ass serious. She said she was coming out the building and, um, you know, he just be out there about her job. I was like, what the fuck? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. And, you know, and my auntie, she do look um very young. She do look very young. She's almost 40. No, did she just turn 40? No, she's like 42, but she looks very young. She looks at least in her 20s, like her early 20s. So, child, that says a lot. There's something that you didn't know about Ashley. She could have been part of the family, okay? You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's basically some of the stuff that's been going on. Oh, yeah. 
Chris Brown, quit bitching about this album or whatever. People going to bad if they want to bad, okay? I'm tired of, you know, waking up, looking at the shade room. You didn't put some tweets out because, you know, people don't buy, ain't buying an album or whatever the fuck. You expect to do some numbers. Baby, if the material ain't all that and you just put out a fucking mixtape that was like, you oversaturating the market. Just like Call Me Dollar said, you just, you oversaturate the market, okay? You got too much stuff out there. Give us a break, goddammit. You know, I really wasn't even looking forward to this damn album, you know? And I, I listened to the album, and it wasn't even all that. And I got it just because I'm a, I'm a supporter, I'm a fan of his. And if I support you, I'm going to get you whether or not the shit is trash or not. I want to see you do something, but... I mean, it was okay. It was like a one, maybe two time listening for me. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just, just chill out. And I hate that phrase. People always say, it is so funny. People be like, you know, um, sales don't matter with, with these days. Sales don't matter and all this stuff. And, you know, nominations don't matter. People say that. Stan say that about their fave when they're not selling or not nominated for something. Not when they put out quality stuff and it gets a little overlooked, but when it's not selling and they don't get nominated for nothing. That's when they put that all of a sudden, you know, numbers don't matter and all that stuff and yada, yada, yada. No, your, your artist put out, your fave put out some trash. Don't nobody want to hear that trash. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't saying the album is trash. It ain't his best. It ain't his best. I really didn't like it. I just want Chris Brown to come back and do an R&B album. I don't want to hear that pop shit. I don't want to hear that. I just want him to be singing like urban R&B or whatever, you know, hip hop R&B. I don't know. I just, I don't want to hear that pop shit. I, I just want some R&B jam song. I, I want to hear the growth in his vocals and I don't hear that. I don't. Um, Monica put out an album. They both had albums come out on the same day and her Cold Red. Cold Red is cute. Cold Red is cute. And <clears throat> I'll give it like a B. You know what I'm saying? It's so much better than the, um, the last album. I think the last album was My Life. Bitch, that album was so... I am spoiled with that album. That album had so many slow songs. I do not like albums like that. You know, I want a slow song here and there. I want a ballad here and there. But I want to, you know, not even an up-tempo, a mid-tempo or some shit like that. You know, make the album flow. Don't let it be so damn down and depressing or whatever. That's how I felt about her last album. You know, I had my reservations about this one too. Because I was like, girl, what the fuck? You know, and... The first song, Cold Red, I was sitting here like, okay. And then I had to listen to it again, and I listened to it again, and it grew on me. I was like, I like, you know, it was cute for whatever. Um, I actually like Hustler's Ambition with um Akon. I said, look at this trap-ass bitch. Monica is down home. That, that bitch is a down-ass chick for real. I said, look at this bitch. I know you got to work. And I was like, yeah, he got to go out there and make that money. You better understand, bitch. But um, another song, Sugar. Sugar threw me off for a second because, you know, it gives me that 80s feel, 80s techno, 80s, you know, um... Yeah, it just gives you that 80s feel. Like, you finna go in a roller skate and all that stuff. But then, like, once you start getting to the groove of it when it come on, the beat change with the bridge coming in, and then it changes to another beat, too. And then it goes back to the first. So, I was like, wait a minute, you're confusing me. But then, I listened to it again. I was like, fuck. That's one of my favorite songs on the album for some reason. Alone in the Dark, I like that. Call My Name, I like that. It's cute, too. Um, um, um. Anchor. 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 I was like, okay, bitch. You better hold that shit and strain that note at the end. Um, Deep. Oh, deep. I think everybody like I know in Deep. Child, y'all was, you singing on that one. You singing on that one. But overall, I get an album a B. I give it a B. I give it a B for real, for real. But um, y'all tell me what music y'all listening to and what y'all think about it and what y'all like and um, put it down in the comments and let me do these questions right quick. So the Q and A is gonna be in a separate video because I don't want this video to be too long and you know some people don't really want to watch all of that. So you know y'all, if you just watch this, enjoy your day. Uh, enjoy your holiday. Be safe with it, and I will see you guys Sunday.